I want to share with you guys a gift that my good friend Riley gave me a little while ago. Um, and I'll put a link to his channel in the description. His uh, channel name is Yankee Rider. He's actually had um, quite a few really sweet watches. He's talked about them on his channel. Um, and I know he's really busy with a move and uh, a job change and all that stuff. So I'm not sure how often he will be making videos. But if you can, you know, check it out. Maybe there's some stuff there you'll like for sure. Um, Riley's also the guy that uh, so far it looks like uh, him and I are going to be going to the 2018 wind up in uh, Chelsea Market in uh, New York. So anyway, uh, what Riley gave me was this Erica's original um, I believe that's called the Marine National um, Strap. Now, I think most of us have heard about these. I was I was aware of them, and I knew that uh, Erica is really cool. Um, you know, from the interview that she did with uh, Patrick Marlette, and uh, the product is awesome. Um, but thankfully, Riley gifted me one because I really didn't know how cool these straps are because of the elasticity uh, mostly is what makes them so comfortable I think um, on top of the fact that they're thin and they just um, they have a really cool appearance to them a little well not a little it's totally different than like a NATO um, my my only gripe with it is I have a, a difficult time hooking the strap um, I've been told that I will either develop a technique or it will become easier over time. So I'm going to give it a chance and uh, try to wear it some more. But essentially when it's on wrist, this part here likes to stay really flat. So it's difficult to get it to, you know, hook. So you're doing one of these numbers and then you got to try to get it to like kind of lift up a little bit so you can get it to hook in. So I'm still working on it. I'll get it figured out. But you can see there's um, some stretch to this guy. So, and then it's not very thick, you know, even compared to, um, uh, I have this NATO-ish kind of strap here. Um, you know, it's probably about the same thickness as that. I'm not sure, I don't know if that's a factory Hamilton one or not. Bruce sent that in, so. Um, but it doesn't really add, because it's a single pass, it really doesn't add much thickness at all to the case. Um, and then, I prefer it on a field type watch, which are typically thin anyway in the first place. So um, makes it super comfortable. I'll put a link in the description to uh, ericasoriginal.com, her uh, website. And it's a little weird to navigate on there from, for me anyway. Um, it looks like they list what they have available sort of thing. I don't think they have everything available all of the time. If that makes sense, I think maybe they sell out or, or they'll do smaller runs or um, I think it's a fairly smaller operation that they have going. So, um, but it's it's really nice hardware. I, I love that it's, you know, stamped in there. You can get different, you know, you can get polished brush, patina. There's a bunch of different options you can get for the hardware. And then there's some really good options for different colors uh, for the fabric and stuff too. So I might be ordering one up. They even have one that, uh, see that yellow stripe down the middle? They have one that that stripe down the middle is actually loomed. Um, I don't know, the little kid in me kind of wants to see that. So I think that would be fun. Maybe wear it on one of my <clears throat> Seikos or something. Now I know, um, oddly enough, a lot of the Doxa fans end up uh, wearing these straps on their Doxa. So I'm not sure how that came about exactly. I'm sure there's a backstory on that. I think um, in that interview that Patrick did with Erica, I think they even cover some of that story, the back story on that. But um, nevertheless, it's. I mean, you, I'm sure you could find one. I think it's one of those straps that I think if you have multiple watches in your collection and you do like to change your straps, whether it be a NATO or a bracelet or whatever you want to do, or leather straps. I think this is definitely one that you need to add into your rotation at some point to uh, experience it. Um, and they're pretty affordable. It, um, I don't know the conversion rate because everything was in uh, euros or pounds or whatever on their website, but um, they ranged anywhere from like 
I want to say like 50 to 80 or something like that. So whatever the conversion is to uh, US dollars, um, they're pretty affordable, I guess is what I'm getting at. Um, it's not like crazy astronomical. And, I, you know, you're, you're talking about a specialty type product here that is uh, quality, well built. And then there's, um, you know, Erica stands behind it. And it's just a, it's a really cool product. I think uh, if you were on the fence about it, I mean, definitely check it out. Um, and what the heck, I'm going to, I'm going to show you my struggles. I'm going to try to, if you, if you see the camera shut off, it's because I, I got too frustrated. So, you know, I'm, I'm putting it on because you have to order it. Um, you have to uh, tell them your approximate wrist size and they have it broken down both in centimeters and uh, inches. So it shouldn't be too bad. Now, now granted, if I get this by some miracle, if I get this, I am doing this through the viewfinder. So, um, I just want to share with you guys my frustration and if you guys have any pointers, you know, definitely tell me what I'm doing uh, wrong here or whatever. Um, but I only have the two hands and one of them I can't uh, reach back to the clasp to help me. So, boom, got it. So I think, um, and, and I'm maybe wearing it a little bit looser, um, but it seems to fit really good. I mean, once you get it on, it's it's not something that you really need to mess with or take off or whatever. It's it's going to just work with you throughout the day. It's going to be super comfortable. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, big thanks to Riley for gifting this to me. Because um, weirdly enough, I, I don't know, I never got around to buying one because I'm such a bracelet guy. Um, it, it was just, it was on my radar. I just never like locked onto it. So um, thankfully, Riley gifted it to me because... It's pretty awesome and he's and I'm definitely looking at a couple of different colorations I got one that's like multi colors I think that might be the one I'm gonna to try to get next so let me know what you guys think and I'll see you on the next video